Hello, this is Ed over here at Los Angeles International Airport. I just uh, was driving headed to Santa Monica on the back street and uh, I noticed on the slope here there's a lot of uh, really interesting ground cover that they've used on this sandy slope. So I thought I would pull over and do a quick video to show you another alternative or another solution for a slope area where you need to have something to hold the slope, especially if you have sandy soil. As you can see here, this soil is really sandy. This is not too far from the, from the beach, probably like about two miles from the beach here in uh, Winchester. We have the LAX, Los Angeles International Airport. It's a road that goes around the side of the airport here. And uh, we have some different plant material that's growing out here. This particular plant right here, it has a beautiful flower right here. It is called um, Hotentot Fig. That's the, <laughs> that's the common name, but the botanical name for it is called a Carpobrotus edulis. Carpobrotus edulis. That's the botanical name for it. Also, it's known as ice plant. It's a different variety of ice plant, though. There's a lot of different varieties of what they call ice plant, but it's pretty unique because what happens is in the morning time when the sun is out, these flowers actually open up. They open up quite wide. And then in the evening time, they close up. So they open up when the sun is out and they're really nice and bright and, and uh, full of color. And they come in different colors too. They come in purple, yellow, orange. But right now, it's about uh, six or seven o'clock. So they're closing up and the sun's going down or it's pretty cloudy here. You usually get overcast in the evening times over here near LAX. And so they're closed up. And the second plant here is, um, it's, we call it, it's the common name, it's called sea lavender. It grows quite well, especially in cooler areas. It's uh, Parisi's sea lavender. The botanical name for it is called Limonium Parisi. Limonium Parisi. If I'm not saying that right or correctly, please excuse me. I got a brush up on my Latin. But as you can see, it's a really good ground cover and it fills in quite nice and the uh, the status, it's also known as status, sea lavender, it fills in really well. It seeds out and it fills in the area quite well. So here's a different color of that, um, of the Hotentog fig. This is yellow. So you see it has some yellows in there and you also have the purples going on. It's pretty uh, thick from the standpoint of the rooting system. It's pretty dense, so it's pretty thick. So it looks like it's pretty drought tolerant too because I don't think there's too much water at all here on this slope. And what water they do use is reclaimed. As we can see here, we have a, a sign here that says, recycle water in use. Please help improve our environment. Los Angeles World Airport is using reclaimed water for irrigation purposes. Fantastic, Los Angeles World Airports using reclaimed water. So we're conserving water here in the LAX area. But I thought I'd do a quick drive by, pull over, a quick video to show you another alternative for a fantastic um, slope ground cover that will help in uh, correcting or reducing erosion and also look pretty pretty, pretty pretty, pretty pretty. It looks really nice as a landscape plant material. Ed Wallace, tips and ideas. Be sure to smash that like button. Give me a thumbs up, please. Send in your comments. Hit that notification bell. Let me know what you're thinking about this video. Please add your suggestions and comments and any solutions that you may have concerning landscaping and slopes and stuff. What do you use in order to help control erosion on a slope? Give me some ideas. Give me some tips. The Yardy Nation would appreciate it. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned for more.